Rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I trust we're all happy to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. I know it's cold outside, but we're warm in here. So we want to just praise the Lord together. Amen. Let's just stand to our feet. Sing number 196, Only Believe. I will praise Him. Amen. <clears throat> How many are happy to be back in the house of the Lord? Hallelujah. David was happy when they said unto him, let us go back to the house of the Lord. Amen. When I saw the cleansing fountain open wide for all my sins I obeyed the Spirit Can't you see why I'm so happy? Amen. I've accepted the word of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I 
trust we're all happy tonight. We've accepted that word of Malachi 4. Amen. Can't you see why I'm so happy? I've accepted the word of the Lord. Accepted, I've accepted the word of the Lord. Say the revealed word that was spoken by the prophet. and pray Lord Jesus we've come tonight Lord we love you so much Father Lord we are happy to be here we've accepted that word Lord that was revealed to us by the messenger of the hour Amen. We believe, Lord Jesus Christ, that you're here with us. Amen. You promise that where two or three are gathered, you'll be there, Lord. Amen. We know you are here, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You promised as well that the footsteps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord. Amen. Father God Almighty, you've ordered our footsteps tonight. Amen. We are gathered here to worship you, Lord. Amen. May you fill our hearts with joy. Amen. Fill our hearts with your spirit, Father God Almighty. Amen. Father, may we hear your word, Lord, when it comes, Father. And may we accept, Lord, that Amen. word that was revealed to us us by Malachi 4, Lord. We thank you, Father, for tonight. Amen. Bless each and every heart, Lord. May we speak like those men that came from your mouth, Lord, Amen. that did not our hearts burn as he spoke to us Amen. along the way. That's our desire tonight, Father. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Trust the Lord is here. Amen. 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 Just going to sing the song by and by when the morning comes amen when all the saints of god are gathered home number 32 only believe amen, amen. amen. we are often tossed and driven on the restless Trials dark on every hand, and we 
cannot understand Oh, the ways that God would lead us to that blessed promise But He guides us with His eye and we'll fall to it die For we understand that our fight you think are uncrossable. Amen. Got any mountains you can't tunnel through? Amen. Be of good courage tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Be of good courage. God's faith to touch you When all Battles to win. Battles to win. Battles win when the obstacles, Jericho's walls too must fall to the ground. Don't ever fail. He stood back off his promises. Was that to crown more? Same, say God is the same, and His word is dependable. You make a way through the water for you. Life situations by Him are unmendable. Mountains and hills He will part for you. Oh, say. Specializes in things not impossible. 
impossible. Oh, and he will do what no one. God and the rivers. Oh, say God and the rivers. You think are impossible. Oh, God and the mountains. You can't handle. Oh, say God specializes. Since things thought impossible. And he will do what no Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many are happy tonight? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We we'll just praise Him once more before we get into a time of worship. If that same Spirit Amen. that raised Christ from the dead, Amen. Amen. If it dwell in you, Amen. it will quicken your mortal body. Amen. Amen. Number 95 supplementary. Let's just sing for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If that same spirit that rests right from the dead dwell in you, dwell in you. Oh, if that same spirit that rests right from the dead dwell in you, dwell in you. Oh, it shall quicken. to a time of worship. Amen. Amen. We just sing that song, Dove Leading the Eagle. Amen. Amen. Number 59, supplementary.
I just love it. Oh, I just love it. sing the song that the prophet loved, only believe. Amen. As we invite the preacher to come. Amen. I believe that's Brother Paul. Only believe. Only believe. Only believe. presence Lord having been rubbing shoulders so much with the world this whole week Lord you've given us this opportunity to come into your house Lord we come here for strength we come here for healing we come here for, for perfection Lord may you allow the word of God to minister to our hearts and may we be drawn closer and closer to you May we gain strength, yes. Lord Jesus Christ, and be strengthened to Amen. continue fighting the enemy. Amen. And Lord, as we have prepared to hear the word, Amen. be with the speaker, Lord, Amen. and even the hearer of the same. Amen. To the heavens above, Amen. 
to hear from you, Lord. And where your word is spoken, where your word is alive, the people are alive. They have a revival in their hearts and they have joy in their hearts. Be with us tonight as we commit this service into your hands for your glory. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 We'd like to greet you all in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Just happy to see you all. Uh, Brother Johnny uh, sent uh, his apologies. Uh, the family uh, uh, is not well. The kids are not well. Sister Lisa also is not too well. So we just need to remember them in prayer. Amen. Amen. So. Uh, by God's grace, as we approach the end of the service, we will definitely mention them in prayer. Amen. Amen. He's a God who answers prayer. Amen. 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 So these are not just, it's not just a formality that we come and Amen. if you have a prayer request, you ask for it to be read and if the preacher says, if you have any need, please raise your hand and, you know, it becomes something that we do every service, we just raise your hand, hopefully, maybe, maybe. Maybe today I'll get something. Let me just try. It's not like that. Yeah, yeah. Amen. When we raise our hand, we believe yeah, yeah. that God sees our hands, yeah. sees the, yeah. the, the need that is in the heart, yeah, yeah. and he will take care of everything. Yeah, yeah. Amen. We go straight into the word, the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse Isaiah 14, Isaiah 14, 12, we start. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Amen. That's the devil there. Amen. 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 Wanting to be like God. <laughs> and then he gets himself Amen. cast down. Amen. 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 All right. Let's just go to the book of James chapter 5. We start from verse 16. A scripture that we also read last week. Amen. We continue with our subject. Amen. Amen. On prayer. Amen. Amen. Essential Christian habits. Amen. Uh, my intention was to just deal with a lot of these things, habits that a Christian should have. And the moment we touched on prayer, a lot of things just started to open up. Yeah. Amen. And to me, it's been such a refreshing. Yeah. Amen. It's caused a revolution in me yeah. and in my house. Yeah. And it's kind of given me a, a perception on, on prayer that, you know, I'm enjoying to see how the word keeps opening up. Amen. Sometimes you stay in the message 20, 30, 40 years. Amen. And, uh, and you know the message here and there. Amen. But some of God keeps opening things up to you. Amen. You know as a believer you're supposed to pray. Yeah. Amen. And you pray. Yeah. And over the years you have prayed and God has answered that prayer. Yeah. Amen. But the, the revelation of prayer can still unfold. Amen. Amen. It gets more real to you. Amen. You start to see certain dimensions that come with prayer that you never really saw before. Amen. And you start to see how much of the ministries of the prophet was so dependent on prayer. Amen. And then the prophet takes us back to the Lord himself. Amen. Amen. And he shows us that even the ministry of the Lord when he came on the earth and was in flesh was also entirely dependent on prayer. Amen. Amen. You had to have the fellowship, to stay in constant fellowship 
with the spirit that was within him. And that fellowship was in prayer. And when the prophet comes on the scene in our generation, does exactly the same thing. Amen. Gets so much prayer in his life and he says his whole ministry was dependent on that. And then he comes and he says prayer is actually the keynote. Is actually the mystery that unlocks everything. Yeah. Amen. It's just opening it up to us to make us realize what prayer is. Yeah. Amen. And he says it opens all the mystery of God. Yeah. Amen. It is prayer. Yeah. So how much of prayer should be in a believer's life? Yeah. Amen. So we read James chapter 5 verse 16. It says, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. When the scripture says it availeth much, it means it does avail much. Amen. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of his word. We may all be seated. Amen. Now, we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 14, and the reason why we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 14 is that a lot of people quote that scripture. And people say, well, I've heard a man say, you know, God, after he had struggles with the devil in heaven, he didn't want to keep fighting the devil anymore. So he threw him down on the earth where mankind was. And when he says, so how can God blame us? You know, he couldn't stand the devil there in heaven. He threw him down here. So that he could make us suffer. So what chance do we have? Amen. When the word of God has not been revealed to an individual, they can sound like they are saying a lot of sense, but they are saying twice nothing. Amen. <laughs> they are not saying nothing at all. Amen. But because they misconstrue and misplace scripture, they come up with certain conclusions and justify their own failures. Amen. But that scripture actually shows us the eternal plan of God. Amen. Amen. What it was that was in his mind Amen. from before the foundation of the world. Amen. What was his intention? Amen. What were his attributes? And how was he going to bring these attributes? Amen. Amen. And reflect them. Amen. The fall had to come. Amen. So when the devil was allowing pride to come and he wished he would be elevated and be on the north sides, Amen. And be elevated above God himself. He was working right into God's plan without knowing. Amen. Amen. But God in his design of the devil, he knew he had that weakness. Amen. Amen. But he was a free moral agent to choose. Amen. Like man is placed on the earth. Amen. You are placed as a free moral agent Amen. to choose what is right and what is wrong. Amen. Amen. And it is up to you to make the choice. Amen. And yet because God knows everything. He knows the end from the beginning and the beginning from the end. He knew exactly what was going to happen. And he allowed it to happen because in it happening, it would manifest the grace of God. It would show God as the heavenly father who watches over his children because he wanted to be a father. It would show God the healer. It would show God the compassionate. It would show the love of God, how he loved men and was prepared to die for men on the cross of Calvary. But all these things would have never been fully manifest to us if there was no fall. Amen. The prophet says, when we start to sing amazing grace in heaven, the angels won't know what we are talking about because they have not been redeemed. Amen. Amen. But the one who understands grace is the one who has been lost before. Amen. Amen. So for your, your revelation of what grace is, is dependent on where you've been. Amen. Amen. If you've been in a place where you knew that if it was not for grace, you would be lost. When you receive that grace, you appreciate it more. Amen. Amen. That's why we are going to sing amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Amen. That's why we are going to sing songs of redemption. Amen. When we are in glory and the angels won't know what we are talking about. Amen. Because we are beneficiaries of that amazing grace. Amen. Amen. But God allowed all these things to happen so that... He could fully manifest all the attributes that were in him. Amen. Amen. But God being God, he would not set you up for failure. Amen. Amen. And that's the most important thing. Amen. Amen. It's like an, a nation that sends its young men to war. Amen. And they are going to face guns. Amen. And it gives them spears and sticks and says, young men, be brave. 
go and fight the enemy. They stand no chance yeah, that's right. against guns when they've got sticks and knives. Yeah. Amen. They are going to be hit from afar. Amen. They won't stand any chance. Yeah. Amen. The world has been conquered yeah. because the one who has got the most powerful weapon is the one who has control over the weaker ones. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. One person could go to an African village, amen, with one gun and conquer the whole village. Amen. Because by the time the tribe come with their spears, brother, he's just shooting from far. And when they see their fellow falling down, hit by somebody who's, a, who's some hundreds of meters away, they wouldn't come close to that gun. Amen. They would just surrender and say, please, take over. We actually know where the gold mine is. I can show you. I know where all the sweet water in this village is. If you need good water, don't drink from the river. I will show you where the springs are. But it's because of the weapon. The powerful weapon conquers the weaker ones. Amen. And uh, when the Americans realized that uh, the Japanese were tenacious fighters, they would fight to the death. They realized if we go to our conventional war with these people, it's going to be long and it's going to cost us a lot of people. We don't need to waste time with these guys because they are prepared to fight until they are all completely finished. But by the time we finish them, they would have also caused us a lot of harm. So there's only one way we can deal with this situation. Please bring us, amen, atomic bombs. Amen. Let's not waste time with these people. Let's just drop two at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Amen. Brother, two bombs. The war was finished. The Japanese said, please, just show us where to sign. The most powerful weapon won the war. Now, we don't say this to celebrate it. We wish it had never happened. But these are carnal men finding carnal means to deal with the kind of situations. Amen. But we are spiritual people. Amen. We are spiritual scientists using spiritual ways and methods. Amen. To find spiritual solutions. Amen. Amen. So we don't, but at the same time, if man can know that to stop the battle, to win the battle, he needs the most powerful weapon, then God also in heaven in his all knowing in his wisdom also gave his children the most powerful weapon. Amen. Amen. So the devil was not just thrown down on the earth to make men suffer and deceive men and cause death and sin and every other thing and cause men to go to hell. Amen. But when the devil was on the throne on the earth, God knew that his children would be fortified. Amen. And that fortification was a fellowship with them. God used to come in the cool of the evening. Amen. Amen. And speak to them. So they were fortified behind the word of God. As long as they stayed behind the word of God, they were protected. Amen. Amen. So they were in fellowship Amen. with God. And that same fortification continues to today. Amen. God has given us his word Amen. and he has made a way of fellowship Amen. between a sinner saved by grace Amen. and the throne above. Amen. And that way is prayer. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So we still have the most powerful weapon. Amen. Amen. As much as the devil is roaring like a lion, as much as even the scripture says, the one who has destroyed the earth. Amen. But God's children have got the weapon to deal with the enemy. Amen. 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 Right now the whole world is in a race. Every nation is in a race. Amen. They want to make the most powerful weapon. Amen. Amen. Now you hear of heads of state, amen, coming with uh, PowerPoint, amen, to a national, uh, 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 state of the nation address to show people how much ammunition they've got. Amen. State of the nation. People are starving to death on the street. People are jobless. Amen. But they feel so honored to come with PowerPoint and a pointer and show them that now we have intercontinental ballistic missiles. He's not talking about the people that are dying in the hospital there. Yeah, yeah. About the unemployment that is growing. Yeah. Amen. About the social unrest in his country. He's talking about intercontinental ballistic missiles. Supersonic weapons. <laughs> they start to say big words. It's to threaten other nations. Yeah. To say, please don't 
play around with us, we will kill you. It's threats and veiled threats. But every nation is in that race to try and find the most destructive weapon. Why? Amen. It's unfortunate that what America unleashed on others is going to be unleashed on him. Amen. What goes around comes around. Because they taught all the nations a lesson when they did that. Because everyone realized, oh, so you can push morality aside and really cause harm and get away with it. And everybody has taken from that book and everyone is trying to make the most destructive weapon and they intend to use it when necessary. Amen. So all these bombs we are hearing about, they are going to be used one day. They are going to be used. Because they intend to use them when they feel forced to use them. Just like America felt like it was forced to use that. It dropped those bombs. Some nations really want to show America that they can also drop those same bombs. Amen. And we know according to the promise of the word. Amen. Amen. The promise says, and I tend to look all over the land of America. Amen. And all I could see was debris Amen. and craters. Yeah. People had dropped bombs there. Yeah. Amen. Why? But we know the prophet has said, God is going to use the communists yeah. to bring judgment. Yeah. Amen. Right. On that nation. Yeah. Amen. But that's not our subject tonight. But you can see how a weapon determines the confidence that somebody has determines how they face the challenge. And the one with the most powerful weapon is the one who conquers and controls the situation. And the believer today has been given also something that can be able to deal with the situation and control the situation. And that thing is prayer. Amen. So today I want to speak about, uh, uh, continue with our subject of essential Christian habits, but I want to talk about the super weapon. Amen. The super weapon. Amen. Amen. When everything else fails, amen, you've got that atomic bomb you have behind there. Amen. You know, I will have to drop this one. If this situation continues to get out of hand, I will unleash it. Amen. And that super weapon is prayer. Amen. If I could have my first quotation. Now, the prophet quotes... Amen. What we also encounter in our testifying and everything, where people are asking us, amen, about, so if God loved us so much, why does he allow so much evil to happen? Mm. Brother, you know, sometimes when you look at the number of people who are dying due to this current pandemic of COVID-19, there's a lot of unbelievers that are asking themselves, or even some nominal Christians, asking themselves, if God is such a good God, why is he allowing thousands of people to die like this? Amen. And it sounds like a good question. And it is a good question. If God is so good, how come we have so many wars and people fighting and people killing each other and sometimes innocent people dying? Amen. If you don't understand the plan of God, that can confuse you. Amen. Amen. And it seems like the devil is winning. It seems like God is failing. Everything is out of control. But everything is going according to plan. Amen. The prophet says that devil is not even in the race. Yeah. He's not even a contestant. The prophet says he is a stamp just by the roadside. Yeah. That road where believers are passing, that devil is just that stamp that is there to just cause you to stumble a little bit. But he's not even in the race. Yeah. He's not even counted as a contestant. Yeah. He is not even competition. Yeah. And after he says that statement, then he goes on to say this. So he says that paragraph 20, 124, 125, 126. Now he goes on to say this. Amen. After he said that there was not even a contestant. Amen. In the race. So don't fear him. Don't think he's winning. Why is he not winning? It's because of this. He says, which is it? Now this is after he has talked about angels. And where we are as the children of God. And he says, an angel is a servant. We are sons and daughters. Which is the most thought of? Your servant or your son or daughter? Oh my. Prayer from a saint will go a million times higher than an angel. Amen. We are talking an angel that has never committed sin. And the prophet says, your prayer, a sinner saved by grace, your prayer will go a million times higher 
than an angel. Amen. 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 Because he is a son. Oh, that's right, my brother, my sister. I don't believe this side of eternity. How will you ever realize that what you are, the position that you are, that God has placed you, you spirit-filled people, you are sons of God. Why? An angel is a servant. You are a son. An angel can only bring you a message, but you have to act. Amen. You are the actor on the scene. You are the son. The angel is your servant. To bring you the message, say here, I brought you this message for you to do so and so. This is from Father. I bring it to you. Yes, that's all he is. Amen. You are sons and daughters of Amen. Thank God for the message. Amen. And thank God for the prophet. Amen. The prophet brought a language that people were not used to. Amen. People would think you are being sacrilegious when you start to talk like this. Amen. When you start to tell them that, brothers, I'm a son of God. My prayer goes a million times higher than an angel. Amen. People walk away from you. Amen. They will. They'll think there's something that is loose up there. But that's the word. Yes. Amen. Servants and sons and daughters of God. Amen. Amen. They are different, brother. Amen. Amen. And the prophet says a, a, an, an angel is just a messenger. Amen. But you are an actor. In other words, you are an active participant Amen. in the program of God. Amen. Amen. And the angel is just coming to give you the message from the Father. Amen. But you are the one who is the active participant. Amen. Glory. You are right on the pitch. Amen. Right. Amen. You are the one who is playing the match. Amen. And your input determines whether the team wins or not. Amen. Amen. Not the guy who's seated by the touchline. Not the guy who's sh shouting out instructions. But your input Amen. determines what happens on the inside. Amen. What happens with the team? Is the team going to win or not? The active participant in the match is the one who has the most bearing on the result of the match. Amen. 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 And that's what the prophet is saying. Amen. That's how powerful your prayer is. That's why we read John, I mean James chapter 5, verse 16. Amen. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. Amen. In other words, the effectual fervent prayer of a son or a daughter of God availeth much. Amen. The effectual fervent prayer Amen. goes a million times higher than the angels. Amen. God is prepared to hear what you are going to say. Amen. So when you look at what is happening in the world, when you look at the challenge that you are facing, when you look at all the problems that you've got, they look like they are very big. But brother, tonight I want you to look at the size of the weapon that you've got in your hand. Amen. Hallelujah. When God placed you on this earth, when God predestinated you to come on this earth, he did not allow you to come empty-handed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We've got a proverb in my language. It says, don't go where your mother is not. Amen. In other words, when your mother is not there to give you cuddles and comfort you, don't go to that place. Amen. Because things will happen to you and there's no comfort there. Yeah. Amen. But God did not send us where he was not. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God sent us where he was. Yeah. God made a way of fellowship. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God made a way of fellowship. He kept in touch with you yeah. and he left an open channel. Amen. He gave you a satellite phone Amen. and said, you can call me even when you are underwater. Amen. You can call me when you are under a rock. Amen. You can call me when you are on top of a hill. Amen. You can call me when you are rich. You can call me when you are broke. Amen. You can call me when you are sick. Amen. You can call me when you are well. Amen. You've got a satellite phone Amen. given by God that connects you directly to glory. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You've got a better network than 5G. Amen. Amen. There is always reception. Amen. Your phone will always have reception. Yes. If you think I'm lying, ask Jonah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jonah was under the water in the belly of a fish. 
Amen. But there was always connectivity. Amen. Because when he prayed a prayer, he said, they that observe lying vanities, they will forsake their own mercy. Amen. And God came on the scene. And brother, that fish, wherever it was going, brother, it turned and started to take him to his destination. Amen. God purpose that you be on this earth. Brother, the challenges that you are going through, they are not bigger than the solution that God has for you. And that solution is within you, brother. And that solution is prayer. Amen. When you look at the size of your problem, it looks big. Oh, brother, I know it looks big. But, brother, your prayer is bigger. Your God is bigger. Your connection is better. Amen. That's what we need to see, brother. Because we will be overwhelmed by the economic crisis. We will be overwhelmed by the sin. Amen. That is in the world. Amen. If you are to sit and think, if I'm to live for the next 10 years, what is this world going to be? And you already start to worry and think, how am I going to make it in the rapture if things continue to go this bad? Amen. Brother, don't worry about tomorrow. God gives you your grace by each day. Amen. Amen. God is always stuck with his people. Amen. When Pharaoh was following Israel, God was with Israel. Amen. The mistake that they made was they started to look at the shining armor of the Egyptians. They started to look at the mountains that were on either side. They started to look at the Red Sea that was before them. But they forgot about the pillar of fire Amen. that was leading them. As a child of God, don't focus on the size of your problems. Amen. Don't start to focus on the financial situation in the country or in the world. Don't start to focus on the COVID-19 pandemic. Don't start to focus on people losing their jobs. Don't start to focus on things being in short supply. Amen. You focus on the pillar of fire. Your solution is in not in observing problems. Your solution is focusing on the pillar of fire. Amen. Where God leads you, he will take care of you. Amen. Amen. Even in the dark ages, when the Christians were being persecuted, when their heads were being chopped off, God was still with them. Amen. Amen. And God was so much with them until they had to change tactics. Because they realized by killing more, they were sending more to heaven. People were willing to die. Amen. Whilst they are cutting their heads off, they were fighting to be in the front of the queue. Amen. Maybe they will stop. Amen. Let me go to the front. Amen. So that they can chop my head off. Until that day we had to change tactics. Amen. Read the Fox's book of martyrs. Read the history. Mothers crying out to their children. Saying, don't cry. Whilst their children were being bent at the stakes. Don't cry. Start rejoicing because right now you are going to be in glory. Amen. Man. And the devil was seeing all those things happening. And instead of making Christianity less popular, it became more popular. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because God was with them. Yeah. Even when they were burning at the stakes, yes. God was with them. Even when their heads were being cut off, God was with them. Amen. Even when they were being put uh, to fight with the lions in the Colossians of Rome, yes. amen, and being eaten alive by lions, God was still with them. Amen. They went out victorious. Yeah. Even though lions were feasting on them, they were seeing themselves like Stephen saw himself. Even though the stones were coming his way, even though the stones were hitting him, yet he says, oh, brother, sister, I see heaven open. Amen. God was still with Stephen, even when the stones were coming. Hallelujah. So why worry? Amen. Look up. Don't look down. Look up like Stephen. You will see the heavens open. God is doing something for you, brother. God is doing something for you, sister. Otherwise, brother, your heart is going to be overcome by fear. It's, it's scary to look out there. Especially for us parents. I mean, I've just had a baby. And I'm thinking when this guy grows up to 20 years old, how is he going to manage in this world? I can start having stress over that. I take, 
I can't even deal with enough of today's problem. Then I will go in the future 20 years. Amen. And try to create problems in 20 years' time and bring the 20 year, you know, problems in advance, bring them and say, yeah, maybe today's problems are not enough. Let me worry about 20 years' time. Sometimes it's foolish, isn't it? If I'm to really start thinking today, next year, this same day, next year, what am I going to be eating? And I start to scratch my head. And then I think, okay, I'm going to have spaghetti. Oh, there's no spaghetti in the shops these days. And then I start to say, maybe next year there won't be any spaghetti. And I start to worry about it. Where is the answer in that? Huh? God is with us, brothers and sisters. Amen. Don't go into the future and get problems from there and bring them to today. Sufficient is the evil thereof. You go with the anointing. Amen. Be led of God. That's why I don't believe in church attendance. People who just want to come to church and say, oh, we attend spoken word fellowship in Perth. Amen. I don't believe in that. I believe in a relationship with God. Amen. And all my efforts will be to try and get myself, my family and the church into a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because that's what counts, brother. Because when you attend this church, you'll be in hospital one day and no one will come and see you. Yeah. That will be the last time we see you here. But with the relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord will be together with you yeah. either. Yeah. You won't be alone. Yeah. You will feel alone when you depend on people here. Yeah. But when you have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. remember the prophet says God can turn the whole church against you. Yeah. God. Amen. Can turn the whole church against you. Amen. Just to try you. Amen. Amen. And even people who want to come and see you in your point of need might fail to come. This one is really cool. thinking I will visit that brother today. His car will have a puncture. And then when he tries to take off the spell, you realize the spell is also flat. You are thinking, ah, brothers will visit me. Brothers will come in hospital. They won't. Not because they don't want, but because God allowed them right. to not be able to come. You need a relationship with God. Amen. That's the most important thing. Amen. Even Brother Michael might want to come. Don't think I don't want to come. I might want to be there, but I might get held down by this and that. But God is giving you that time to be quiet by yourself. To know him at a personal level. To move God from Bible. To move him from the quotes in the message. To the one who dwells on the inside. The one that you talk to. The one that whispers to you when the times are heavy. The one that will get you out of problems. Not the one that healed brother so and so. Not the one that did this for sister so and so. But the one that you know personally. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And that's the day that we live in. Amen. Amen. We, we have moved, brother. We were told, come out of here, my people. We have moved from churchianity. We have moved from religion. Yes. Now we've come to the bright coming of Christ. Christ in you. Amen. The hope of glory. Amen. That's what we are. Amen. That's our focus. Christ in the heart Amen. of the believer. Manifesting himself. Amen. Otherwise, we can all decide to wear uniforms and, and have a church and I have a place to identify with. But brother and sister, that will not take you far. Amen. If we can go, my brother. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I've had the privilege of speaking to 500,000 people at one time. That's in Bombay, Amen. India. I've seen altar calls. As many as 30,000 blanket natives give their hearts to Jesus Christ at one time, break their idols on the ground, seen 25,000 outstanding miracles performed in one second's time with one prayer at Durban, South Africa, where 16 truckloads of wheelchairs, coats, and stretchers, stretchers come down the street. The next day, when Sidney Smith, the mayor, told me to go 
called me up and said, go to the room and look out towards the Indian Sea there. And there they come down, natives who was at war with one another, laying in coats and stretchers, homemade things they had brought them in the day before. And here they was coming down behind these 16 vanlords singing, only believe all things are possible. Only believe. 25,000 outstanding miracles performed in one second because of one prayer. Amen. Talk about a super weapon. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The prophet was in South Africa. Amen. And he decided to unleash a super weapon. Amen. Amen. He realized, brother, the night is going to be long. There is a lot of interpreters. This one in Zulu, this one in Tosa, this one in Sipedi, this one in Sutu, this one in Swana. He said, no, 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 no. I can't keep preaching and preaching. Amen. The night is going to be long. Twelve interpreters, nine interpreters, too many languages. Amen. Amen. One prayer. Amen. Amen. In one second. Amen. Amen. Healing 25,000 people. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He just had to unleash a super weapon to deal with the situation. Amen. And brother natives, amen, that were heathens. Brother, the next day they were singing, only believe, only believe. All things are possible. Because of the weapon that was unleashed by God's prophet. So when the prophet tells you prayer, your prayer goes a million miles higher than an angel's. He knows what he's talking about. He has seen what happens after prayer in one second. <laughs> I will take, brother, I will take a qualified person's advice anytime. And the prophet was more than qualified Amen. to tell us about faith yeah. and to tell us about the effects of prayer. Yeah. Yeah. And I will take his word at any time over anyone's word. Amen. Because he, demo, he did not just speak it. He demonstrated what he was talking about. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I've met people who were in these meetings of this trip yeah. personally. People who were in some of the meetings. Amen. And they will tell you exactly the same. Amen. They will tell you. I remember I met one elderly man. I mean, they were young. This is in the 50s. Amen. I met one man. He was saying, I've never seen such power. Of course, when he was talking, it was like the power was Brother Branham's power. But we know it was the Lord in the prophet. Amen. It was not him. It was God in the prophet. Amen. He says, and when he walked into this stadium, he says, I still remember, because it was, the stadium was in a residential area. And he says there were dogs and everything. There was a lot of noise that was happening. He says, but when that man walked in, when they were ushering him to the podium, even the dogs that were outside the stadium um, in the residential areas stopped barking. Yeah. He, says, he says, I was young, but he says, I still remember that moment because it was so noisy and the dogs and you know when there's excitement in the air even the dogs are excited and everyone is excited there's just noise but they say when the prophet walked and he was going towards the the podium he says there was such a hush not only in the stadium Amen. even outside nothing said anything Amen. and when that man tells you and remember the prophet tells us his habits before he goes to a meeting Amen. He would be praying and fasting. The brother, the anointing, when he was coming from prayer and fasting, would stop even the dogs barking in the neighborhood. When the brother Abraham was talking about prayer, he knew what he was talking about. Brother Abraham took the same principles to Africa and conquered. No which doctors could contest the power of God in the prophet. He took the same principles to Europe, no witch doctors could do whatever their enchantments and all that in Germany. They could still not be able to lift off that tent. Why? Because he knew what he was talking about. He took the same principle to America and demonstrated that power. Amen. Took the same principle to Switzerland and all them places. Demonstrated that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Amen. That he demonstrated that what he was saying was the truth. Amen. In all terrain, under any circumstance, 
Amen. Amen. It proved right what he was talking about. Amen. 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 25,000 outstanding miracles Amen. in one second <laughs> because of one prayer. Amen. Not all this come out that we see now with these people. Come out! Come out! People are being slapped in the face and <laughs> Fire! <laughs> well, the prophet will just be calm. He is here. Hey. Only believe, only believe. All things are possible. Hey. Put your hands on one another. Now is the time we just take care of everything. Hey, Amen. I'm running out of strength. But put your hands on one another. I'll say one prayer. You believe, you get your healing. <laughs> we are talking about a man who would come and say, if 60, between 60 and 80 percent of the people who are needing of prayer here, if they don't get healed, put a placard at my back that says I'm a false prophet. He knew what he was talking about. You can't be daring when you are working on assumptions. You are that daring when you have seen it before happening. He was just going to walk into a replay. He had already seen it by vision happening. <laughs> when, the, when the prophet says, you pick up your Bible and come and stand at my right, he knows what he's setting you up for. Because he knows who's at his right. He's not setting you up for a fight with him. He's using wisdom. He says, pick up your Bible and come and stand on my right and argue with me. He knows the age of the Lord is there. Amen. He knows he's standing here. He wants you to come and stand and fight the angel of the Lord. Amen. And he says, I realized those men had more sense than I thought. <laughs> those men realized not on that man's right. Hey, Amen. I'll live in a casket. <laughs> When you know what you are talking about, you can set people up for certain things when they give you problems. <laughs> Who is Jesus? You see, when you go to pray for somebody, something goes to taking place. There is where we fail friends, not pray. Prayer is the keynote. Ask and you shall receive. Amen. You have not because you ask not. Yeah. You ask not because you believe not. Yeah. Ask abundance that your joys may be full. Amen. Ask and believe that you receive what you have asked for. Amen. Then hold on to it. Amen. Like we are talking about Friday. Amen. Hold on to it. Don't leave it. Amen. If it's a promise in the Bible Amen. and it's been revealed to you Amen. that God is going to give it to you. Hold to it. Amen. 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 And he goes on to explain there that what happened to uh, Zacchaeus' wife. Zacchaeus, the tax, tax collector. Mm. That he believed because his wife was praying for Amen. him. Amen. He says that's where our problem is. Amen. Not praying. Mm. Because prayer is the keynote. And he says sometimes you don't ask because you don't believe. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen when brothers have tried, have got a certain big challenge and they don't really have faith for it, how they come up with all kinds of reasonings? <laughs> Actually, brother, you know, we, I didn't really need it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have faith, brother. Yeah, that's right. yeah. For once, be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, you know, I actually realized later I had, I had no need for it. There was no point in asking for it. You have not because you ask not. Amen. You ask not because you believe not. Amen. But the prophet says, ask in abundance. Right. The prophet says, sometimes we are like a little fish in the middle of the sea. Yeah, sure. That will say, let me drink sparingly, lest I suck this whole sea dry. How can you drink the whole sea when you're a little fishy? He says, that's like a believer sometimes. When you approach God, 
Let me just ask God sparingly, lest I finish the blessings of God. You can't finish the blessings of God. You can't finish the blessings of God. God has given you that faith to pray because he's more than able to supply your needs. No matter how big those needs look like. No matter how the situation is. No matter what the doctor has said. No matter what the bank account says. No matter what your education says. But if you believe it, you hold on to it. Amen. You've got a super weapon in your hand. You are a believer. You are a child of God. Amen. Amen. If I had access to the prime minister, I would go there and ask for favors. Amen. Say, you know, Mr. Scott Morrison, you know, we, we are mates. You know, we are mates, you and me. <laughs> you remember your mates, you know, don't forget your mates. Give me a government tender or something. Link me up to somebody, you know. And it happens, isn't it? And sometimes it's not corruption. It's just you know that one, that one knows that one. Networking, isn't it? Who do you know and then you get connected then? That's how things work out. Sometimes it's not corruption. But I'm sure, brother, in my walk, even if the police want to harass me, I'll tell them, do you know that I'm mates with Mr. Scott Morrison? <laughs> I've got his number, private number. I can call him right now. You want to speak to him? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Brother, there would be a bit of a bounce in my step if I was connected to the PM. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But guess what? I've got better connections. Amen. I'm connected to the heavens above. Amen. The creator of the heavens and the earth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The one who calls me friends. Amen. Let's replace friends and say mates. <laughs> <laughs> That's being Aussie, isn't it? <laughs> Amen. Amen. What a connection. Amen. What a connection. Amen. Now, if I can get a bit of a bounce in my step, a bit of a spring in my step over connections to the PM of this country, what about when I'm connected to the heavens above? Amen. Brother, how much spring should be in my step? Hallelujah. Even when situations try to get out of hand, how much confidence do I have? Hallelujah. Believers know this. Yes. That's our inheritance. Amen. We are just nobody's brother, but heaven knows your name. <laughs> all you have is a center link number, brother. That's all people. You are nothing but a number in the system, but God knows you not as a number. He knows you as his child. Amen. What a privilege Amen. to have God know you by name Amen. and characteristic. Amen. He can identify you anywhere Amen. and say, that's my son. Amen. That's my daughter there. Amen. Faith, 56, 04, 27. We are just looking forward to a great time in the Lord. And with your prayers, I'm sure that we will do the best we can for the glory of God. Prayer changes things. Amen. Prayer changes death to life. Amen. Prayer changes sickness yes. to health. Amen. Changes sinners to saints. Amen. It's prayer. Amen. You may laugh too much. You may shout too much. You may eat too much. Amen. But you will never pray too much. Amen. The Bible said I would that man pray everywhere. Amen. Lifting up holy hands. Amen. So you will never be able to pray too much. Amen. Whisper a prayer in the morning. Yes. Whisper a prayer in the afternoon. Amen. Whisper a prayer in the evening. Amen. Whisper a prayer even in the night time. Amen. Amen. You wake up at 3 a.m. You pray. Amen. You wake up at 5 a.m. You pray. Amen. 6 a.m. before you leave for work. You pray again. Amen. Even when you arrive at work. You pray again. Amen. Amen. When you are having your coffee. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't want to call it smoko. <laughs> I don't like that expression. <laughs> During your tea break. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. We don't want to elevate the smokers. Amen. And they start calling our tea time smoko time. 
No. <laughs> it's tea break for us. <laughs> Amen. And you pray some more. Last time you pray. Knock off time you pray. You will never pray too much. Amen. 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 Why? Because the prophet says prayer changes things. Amen. Prayer can change death Amen. to life. Amen. Prayer can change sickness to health. Amen. Prayer can change any situation Amen. from bad to good. Amen. Prayer changes things. Prayer can change the circumstances. Amen. Let's go ahead, brother, and see what prayer can do. Amen. Believe in God. So therefore, that's the reason. Say the prayer of faith shall save the sick. An individual's prayer, the effectual of heaven prayer of a righteous man, availeth much. Oh, if you only knew that, in your hand, Christ gave us the authority by his name, by being Christians, the most powerful weapon the world has ever known, prayer. It even changes everything. It will change. It will change. The mind of God. That's what the prophet is saying there. Mind. Where is that? It will change everything. It will change the mind of God. It did do it. After death was pronounced to a man. He prayed. God told the prophet, go back and tell him I had him. Amen. See there, prayer, you hold on. Amen. God sends a prophet, go and tell Zedekiah that he is going to die. Amen. Put your house in order. Amen. Death is coming. Amen. And the man prayed. Amen. Amen. The same prophet who came with the message of death, that after the man prayed, God says to the prophet, Amen. you brought death? Now he's prayed I had his prayer. You go and tell him he's going to live. Amen. And the prophet says, prayer changes the mind of God. Amen. Do you remember that quote we read last week? It says, prayer can change the destiny of things. Amen. Even things that are bound to happen. Amen. Prayer will change those things Amen. and turn it around. Amen. 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 Someone who's bound to fall into sin and to just perish in the world there. Your prayer can turn them around. Amen. Amen. They are bound to sin. They are bound to unbelief. But your prayer Amen. can turn things around. Amen. The prayer of Aunt Jemima stopped their plane. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Talk about the power of prayer. Amen. Amen. It, a plane will develop a problem. Amen. Amen. A plane will delay take off Amen. because Aunt Jemima Amen. Is praying for her son. Let's talk about this son that she was praying about. Let's talk about him. What kind of a son was he? The brother had lived a riotous living. He was dying of a social disease. An acquired disease. Acquired through immorality. But the mother, mother's love pushes that aside. And she knows the God that she saves. Amen. Amen. And she says, you know what? I serve a mighty God. Amen. And I know I can still pray for my son. Amen. I raised him up, but he's decided to go his own way. But I believe that she, he can be well. And she started to speak to God. Amen. And God grounded the plane. Amen. Amen. Took his prophet by hand. Amen. And he told to the prophet, you keep going. Amen. 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 The prophet says the plane is about to take off. And the Spirit of God says to the prophet, you keep going. Amen. 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 Don't worry about the plane. Amen. Amen. You take a turn. Amen. Why don't I just make a U-10? Turn left. Amen. 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 Because Auntie Jemima Amen. Amen. has prayed. Amen. Talk about the, the answer to prayer. Amen. The power that God has given to his church. You look even in the Old Testament. Elijah could bind the heavens. Amen. Three and a half years, no rain. Amen. He goes there, he starts getting fed by the heavens. Amen. 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 Three and a half years later, after he has spoken the word, he still comes. There's going to be rain. The word of one single man Amen. could bind the heavens for three and a half years, no rain. Amen. And the same word of that same man 
could lose the heavens. Amen. And those are the sons and daughters of God. Amen. 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 Jacob, even in a fallen state, yes. Amen. You could play some tricks, yes. Amen, and still prosper. Amen. 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 Sons and daughters of God, Amen. you see glimpses and flashes of the grace of God in their lives even before their conversion. Amen. Amen. But imagine what happens when they are converted. Amen. 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 Pharaoh thought he was just talking to Moses. Moses. Moses had God on the inside. Amen. The pillar of fire had moved from the bush to the inside of Moses. Amen. Right. Amen. He thought he was still talking to the Moses that he knew about. This Moses, he had no idea who he was talking to. And this world has no idea when they talk to you. Yeah. You still look the same, sound the same. Amen. But brother, you are a different individual. Amen. Because the spirit of God lives on the inside. Amen. And when you speak the word, something will happen. Amen. Expectation 61. What man calls great, God calls foolish. Amen. And what man calls foolish, God calls great. Amen. Amen. I'll go ahead. So what we've got to do is get back into the program of God and find out after all what God wants us to do. Amen. And the only way I know to do, to do it is prayer. Amen. Prayer is the key. That's the answer. Prayer changes things. Prayer is the most powerful weapon that was ever put in the control of human beings. There is no atomic bomb, no hydrogen bomb as powerful as prayer. Prayer will change the mind of God. Did you know that? It did do it one time. Your prayer is more powerful than an atomic bomb. Your prayer is more powerful than a hydrogen bomb. Amen. The prophet says there is no other power that has been put in the control of the hands of men Amen. but prayer. Amen. Prayer is the super weapon. Amen. Let's not belittle prayer, brothers and sisters, Amen. in our lives. Amen. If there's anything that should take our time, if there's anything that should take our moments of quietness, it should not be worldly entertainments. It should be prayer. Amen. Are you praying for something? Pray some more. Yes, Is there something that you want to see God do in your life? You pray some more. Amen. You want the baptism of the Holy Ghost? You pray some more. Amen. God will fill you up with His Spirit. Amen. He will never leave you. He has given the word. Amen. The prayer of Solomon Amen. was answered in the days of Jonah. Amen. Can you imagine? The prayer, dedication of prayer of Solomon. Amen. Amen, Amen. Is what Jonah remembered. Amen. Amen. And by faith he turned towards the temple. Amen. Because Solomon had prayed and said, Lord, if Amen. any one of your children, Amen. wherever they are, if Amen. they can only turn and look towards Amen. this temple, Amen. hear their prayer. Amen. And Jonah, because of a prayer, Amen. saved by a mortar, Amen. turned by faith towards Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. And said a prayer that God could hear. The prayer of Solomon was still valid, Amen. even in Jonah's day. Amen. Amen. You watch the prayer. What about the prayer of the Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. When the Lord was saying, I pray that you not take them out of the world. Amen. Amen. But I pray that you be with, the, with them, Amen. even as they are in the world. Amen. Amen. If he can hear the prayer of Solomon, what about the Lord himself in flesh? Amen. Amen. Jesus has prayed for you. That's why he could say to Peter, I've prayed for you. Amen. Amen. Why? That's why Mary came to him and said, you know what? Even though my brother is stinking in the, in, 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 in the sepulcher there, I know he's been embalmed. I know corruption has set in already. I know he's dead. We've already had his funeral. But if you can say the word, she knew the prayer of the Lord could still be heard. He says, even now, Amen. even though he's been abound, even though he's stinking, even though he's dead, even though we have had a funeral, but even now, if you can speak the word, you, God will still hear your prayer. That's how much confidence 
that disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ they had in him. Amen. They knew if he prayed, Amen. God would hear him. Amen. That's why at the wedding of Cana, Amen. the mother said, whatever he says, do. You go and do Amen. it. Amen. Just follow his instruction. Amen. But all the things that he says, Amen. Whatever he says, do. You go ahead and do it. Amen. Amen. And he says, go and fetch some water. Amen. And then people did not start asking, where is the vineyard? Amen. Where are we going to start growing grapes? Amen. When are we going to, thrash the, to, to crush them into juice? Where are we going to ferment them? Amen. The mother had told them whatever he says, do. You do what he says. Amen. Amen. If he says, fetch water and bring water here, don't ask too many questions. Amen. Say what, just do what he has said. Amen. 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 Oh, brother, and his blessing bypassed growing grapes, bypassed fermentation, bypassed every other process. Amen. And turned the water into wine. Amen. Amen. When they took a sip of that wine, they said, where was this wine all along? <laughs> because, you know, the bad one is what you save last. Eh? Because people are drunk, they don't really mind the taste. They are just wanting to drink. So you give them the sweet one when they are still sober and they are still thinking and realize that this is not good tasting. But when they are drunk, everything tastes good and every lady there is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and they were wondering, we were supposed to be having now terrible wine. Where is this good one coming from? It was God's blessing. Whatever he has said to do, you do it. Amen. If God says pray, you pray. Amen. If he says only believe, you only believe. Amen. Prayer will do things. Amen. Brothers and sisters, Amen. in your life as an individual, Amen. in your family, Amen. in your church, that you never even imagined. Amen. If we want to see God in this church, Amen. we have to pray more. If you want to see God in your own home, you have to pray more. Amen. The prophet says the moment you stop home prayer, amen, family altar, prayer at home, he says you look around, the devil is coming on the scene. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the moment you stop praying, the prophet says the devil is right with you right there. Amen. Prayer. Who will chase the devil away from your home. Who will chase divorce away from your home. Who will chase a broken home away from your home. Who will chase any happiness away from your home. Who will chase fighting away from your home. Sometimes there's so much fussing and so much friction and so much swearing and so much this and that. We need to pray more. Amen. When you see a church start to go up and down and people fighting and arguing. Amen. Let's pray some more. Amen. That church needs to be sweetened with prayer. Amen. The prophet says, sweeten your temper with prayer. Amen. Sometimes you are so angry because you don't pray. <laughs> you are so unhappy because you don't pray. Amen. We need to pray. Amen. Pray and pray some more. Amen. And we need to be ashamed that we can't even have an all night prayer. We are too tired. January all the way to the end of December, no all night prayer because people are too tired to pray. When prayer is the most powerful weapon yes. ah. ever given in the control of man. Yes. And we cry we need this. We cry we need healing. We cry we need that. Brother, we need to pray some more. Amen. When we sit down to talk about other people and talk about that and that, what we need to do is actually to pray. Amen. We will start to see God in our lives. Amen. Amen. What we need is to pray more. Amen. And brother, when we are connected that way, when the right connection with the throne above, we will start to see things happening. Amen. The prophet even says you don't really have to pray for yourself. You pray for others. Amen. Because God knows your needs already. Amen. <laughs> In other words, just get connected to God. Amen. Just get connected to God. God will take care of everything. Amen. Don't be selfish. Every time God give me another car, God give me a new suit, God give me new shoes, 
God pay my bills. God give me a job. God give me this. God heal my body. God pray for that brother. Amen. And pray for that sister. Amen. And see what God will do. Not Amen. only for them, but for you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Sometimes our prayers are too much. Me, 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 myself, and I, me, myself. Let's also remember other people. Amen. 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 That sister that you know in church who's not feeling well, you pray for them. Amen. 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 That sister you had coughing in church, you know she's not too well. You, without even her knowing what you are doing, you pray for her. Amen. Amen. That brother that you saw limping in church, you can see the brother is not okay. You pray for him. Amen. Amen. The next time when you see him walking briskly and strong, you are going to be encouraged. Amen. Because you know God has answered your prayer. Amen. 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 That brother that you see, this brother is not exactly hitting those heights that I know him to hit. These days he's a bit in the valley. You pray for him. Amen. amen. The day you see him jump up and say amen to the word on fire, you get encouraged. Amen. Because that's the answer to your prayer. Amen. Sometimes we are so discouraged because we just want to see things happen in our own lives. But you also learn to be encouraged by seeing God work in other people's lives. Amen. 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 Let's, let's be people who enjoy to see other people prospering. Amen. You see a brother with a very nice new car. Rejoice with him. Amen. Don't just to say, brother, we are in for the rapture and you are busy buying cars. Now. <laughs> God has blessed the brother with a lovely home. Rejoice with the brother. Brother, this is not time for packing up. It's time for unpacking. This, these are fleshy things, brother. We mind the high things. Our oh, brother, it's the wrong place to quote that scripture. Rejoice with those that are rejoicing. Amen. Amen. God does some good for somebody. Rejoice with them. Amen. You know, let's be people who enjoy to see good happening to other people. Amen. I think it's only that devil who doesn't get happy when he sees good things happen to others. Amen. The devil doesn't want to see you happy. Now, it's a sad thing if a brother or a sister does not want to see you happy. Then you know the devil is in them. Because it's only the devil who doesn't rejoice together with you. Amen. Let's be people who like to see other people growing, Amen. other people prospering, Amen. other people smiling. Amen. Not only rejoice when you see people crying, oh, brother, you know, pray for me, brother. Then you feel good. Brother, I'll pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> you feel very spiritual when you see the brother suffering. I'll remember you in prayer, brother. <laughs> no. Be spiritual when you see God working in their lives. I say, brother, we rejoice with you. God is good, brother. I see what he's doing in your life. This is good, brother. I'm happy for you. That's a believer. Amen. That's a believer. You rejoice with others when you see them prospering, when you see them healthy, when you see their children growing well, and you rejoice with them. Ah, oh, brother, oh, what a beautiful baby girl you've got here. She's growing so well. Rejoice with people. Amen. Amen. Visit people's home. Don't pretend like you can't see the beautiful flowers that they've just planted. I mean, a whole weekend someone was laboring to plant some roses. You can see they are nice. You pretend like you can't see them. Just encourage the brother or the sister. Say, These are nice flowers. Sister. Very beautiful. Make them feel good. Anyone who met the prophet in person will tell you that when you met Brother Branham, he made you feel better. Amen. And he made you feel bigger than he himself. Amen. Amen. But sometimes believers were in the habit of pulling each other down. Even when we see something that we are supposed to say something nice about, we don't want to say. They'll grow wings if we tell them that. They'll be flying all over the place. <laughs> it could be the angels of death ministering to you. Amen. Amen. The brother is standing, you can see, he's just kicking his foot forward. He wants you to see the new shoes. <laughs> you can't sit still, he just keeps. Just notice the new shoes. They say, brother, these are nice shoes. <laughs> Make the brother feel good. He wants you to see the shoes. 
just make the brother feel good, isn't it? I mean, we hear so many testimonies of what was happening in the prophet's life, how he, sometimes he would lose the competition on purpose. Yeah, that's right. Just to make the, the, ne the next failure feel good. Amen. Just lose the competition on purpose. And then people would laugh with him later. Brother Abraham, that one, he lost it on purpose. Then he just laughs it off. I think that's the Christian thing. Yeah. Sometimes prefer others over you. Yeah. Let others be happy also. Yeah. Let it not be just me, me. If it's blessings, only me. They are only blessings when they are mine. Be able to recognize blessings in other people's lives. Amen. And rejoice with them. Amen. That's the Christian spirit. Amen. 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 Pray for people's breakthroughs. Even when you know after they get the breakthrough, they are going to be boasting. Pray for them. Amen. 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 If I pray for him and that thing happens, that brother won't keep quiet. <laughs> Pray for that one. He will talk until he's tired. You keep praying for him. Keep, keep praying for that sister. That will spit in your face. Pray for them. And they see things happening in their lives. They don't know why. It's you praying for them. Don't go boasting and say, you see all these things. I am the one who prayed for you. No, no, no. Your reward is in heaven. And the prophet says, once you do that and start to pray for others, watch what God will do in your own life. Amen. That's why sometimes we can't pray long because we finish all our requests. We want this. I prayed for that. You want this. You want this car. You want this house. You want this thing. You want that. After it's finished, you've got nothing to pray for. But we've got a church full of people here. Amen. So you can still pray for people. Amen. One by one. Amen. Amen. Whoever comes to your mind, you pray for that brother. Amen. Pray for that sister. Amen. Pray for the pastor. Amen. Pray for the deacons. Amen. Pray for the trustees. Amen. Pray for the church building. Amen. Pray. There's so much you can pray about. And when you see God answering those prayers, brother, you will be encouraged. You are closer to rapturing faith than you were before you said the prayers. Because you get encouraged when you see God working, when you see things happening that you prayed about. You're like, you know, I prayed for this. So God answers my prayers. And you see God working. And he starts to work in your life. You get encouraged. Isn't he good? We may stand on our feet. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It's a good thing to be a believer. Yes. Amen. We came in here heavy. Amen. Amen. We're going lighter. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Flying home, brother. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Like they say that uh, the cat was chasing the, the rat. Amen. And then he fell into a jar of wine. After a few gulps, now he came out with the red eyes. He says, where is the cat? Amen. And the cat was confused. Because he's always used to chasing. Amen. But after gulps of wine, the rat was confused also. And he was the one looking for the cat. <laughs> and the cat got confused and ran away. Amen. I think that's how we are going to walk out of the church, brother. After a few gulps of the word of God, yes. we are saying, where is the devil? Where is the devil? Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We want brother to twist his neck. Amen. Amen. Because we've been quickened by the word. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It's wonderful to believe God's word. Yes. Even when he tries to load us with burdens, with sicknesses, with problems. Brother, once we get to church, it's over. Amen. Glory you believe that. Amen. You believe your prayer. Amen. Amen. You believe your beliefs Amen. and doubt your doubts. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's just sing only believe, only believe. Amen. All things are possible. Amen. Brother Mordecai, if you can sing.
Honestly, like the tone of that song. It's not somebody who is trying and fighting and beating the wind to get themselves to a state of belief. Amen. Amen. Like shouting until you run out of breath so that you can believe. No. It's just somebody with blessed assurance. Trusting in God and His promises and only believing those promises. It's soft soothing it's true it's inspired it's anointed and that's where we are brothers tonight we don't have to fight and try to crank ourselves to believe we were predestinated to these promises you were born and designed for the end time faith for rapturing faith you were designed for it you are not here by accident. You are here by predestination. Amen. And this message was specifically designed for you. Amen. God knew you would believe this. Amen. God knew you would speak a language that is different from everybody else. Amen. God knew you would believe in angelic visitation. Amen. God knew you would believe that the prayer is the most powerful weapon. Amen. Even more powerful than an atomic bomb or a hydrogen bomb. It only takes a certain class of people to believe that. A prophetic class of people that believe a prophet's message. Amen. That speak a certain language that takes a token to understand. We were predestinated for this day. Even the challenges we are facing, brother, God knows what he has placed on the inside. Let's just trust God. He is going to see us through these problems, through these challenges. Push stress aside. Push worry aside. Glory. Push fretting aside. Amen. Amen. Put listening to the pain and trying to feel the pain aside. You believe God. Glory. Only believe, only believe. Amen. All things are possible. Amen. Push the calculator aside. You believe God for what you want. Glory. And the God of heaven who created everything that yes. we see Amen. will speak it into existence. Amen. Will inspire somebody to do something. Amen. 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 That's the God that we serve. He can inspire a doctor to do the correct diagnosis Amen. if he chooses. Sometimes you wake up tomorrow, the pain is gone. You are healed. Amen. Some other time he inspires a doctor to carry out the right diagnosis and find the right medication that you need. It's still an answer from God. All you need to do is to believe and to pray for patience as you wait for his answer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I will invite... Brother Paul, to come and commit us into the hands of the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you have any need tonight, Amen. this world is not in vain, Amen. brothers. Amen. Just believe. Amen. As the brother prays, Amen. you lift up your hands Amen. and believe. Amen. The God of heaven will hear the, the prayer of your Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful, Lord, for your mercy. Amen. For your grace, Lord, it's Lord, how we stand in here this evening, yes, Father. Jesus. Lord, for it wasn't for your mercy, Father. Yeah, oh, God, would be gone. Lord. Yes, but it's your great grace and mercy, Father, that you're so rich in, Lord. Yeah, that you can place something in our hearts, Father. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, Lord, that we can't boast on anything, Father. Yes. Lord, but what you have already done, Father. Yeah, Lord, so, Father, oh, God, that seed, Lord, that you placed within us, Lord. Yeah, yeah. It can only respond, Father. Amen. Even as our brother Michael ministered tonight, Father. Amen. Oh, Lord, doesn't matter what circumstances Amen. we find ourselves Amen. in, Father. Oh, Lord, there is a connection, Father. Amen. Oh, Lord, there is an antenna, Father, within Amen. the believer, oh, God, Amen. that has a direct line, Amen. Father, oh, God, to your throne, Father. Amen. And we're calling upon you, Father, because yes, we've got nowhere else to go, 
Father. Only you have the words of life, Father. Only you have the means of salvation, Father. Only you have the means of supplying, Lord, all of our needs, Father. Even to Abraham, oh God, in his weakness, Father. Oh Lord, all he needed was El Shaddai, Father, to nurse that strength, oh God, to produce the promise within him, Father. Lord, he was purposed in your mind before the foundation of the world. And Lord, where that spiritual, that supersede, Father, Lord, that you predestinated at the end time to have that super faith, Father, oh God. Oh Lord, Father, that's what the world needs, Father. Oh God, Lord, isn't that atomic prayer, Father, oh God. Oh Lord, a hydrogen prayer, Father. Oh Lord, something that can, oh Lord, just take out sin of our lives, Father. Take out sin of our, our family. Take out the sin, oh God, of, of, of our friends, Father, oh God. Oh Lord, to create that atmosphere, Father, where all things are possible. So we just ask for your blessings tonight, Lord. Even as we remember, Father, Lord, the testimonies, Father. Even as our brother was ministering, Lord, the things you were bringing to remembrance, Father. Lord, what you have done because of just a simple prayer, Father. Oh, Lord, nothing that was worked or pumped, Father. But, Lord, just asking in faith, Father. And you do it, Lord. We're just so grateful, Father. And even as we pray the prayer of faith, Lord, oh, God, of the righteous. And we know, we realise, Father, that there's none righteous but thee. Yes. Oh God, it's that sun that lives within the side of us, yeah. oh God. And you're looking for that expression, yeah. Father. Amen. You're looking for that the sons and daughters of yes. God, oh Lord, to realise their position, Father. Yeah. And look and call from those things that are unseen, yeah. the realities of God, Lord. Yes. So we just come even remembering Brother Johnny before yeah. Yeah. his family, Father, yeah. oh God. Yeah. And we call from those things, Amen. Father. Yeah. Lord, we don't see them, Father, but we yeah. believe them, yes. Father. Yeah. Lord, and we just speak those things out yeah. of existence. Distance tonight, Amen. Father. Oh Lord, even my daughter here, Father, that's coughing. Oh God, Lord, we speak those things out, yes. Father. And we just thank you, oh God, Amen. where we can even testify tonight, Father. Amen. Oh, Lord, of your mercy, yes. of your grace, Lord, yes. of a prayer that was offered up for my mother, oh, God, and now she's walking again, yes. Father. Lord, that is your grace, Father. Yes. Oh, Lord, that is your mercy, Father. Yes. That is that you answer our prayers, yes. oh, God. Lord, not because we're anybody, Father. Lord, just because you love us, Father. Just because you know who we are, Father. We know our needs, Father. Oh, Lord, help us, Father, to humble ourselves. Help us, oh God, to bend our knees, Father. Oh, Lord, not for ourselves, Father. Oh, Lord, but for our brethren, Father. For those that are in need, Lord. And there are many needs here tonight, Father. Lord, here present, Father, and not present, Lord. But, oh God, Father, Lord, Lord, even when doors are shut in our face, yes, Lord, and, and we can't enter in even to talk to somebody, yes. Father. Oh, God, you're the God that can go yes. beyond those doors. Yes. You're the God that can go in there, Father, and change yes. that situation. Yes. Bring a sweetness, Father. Yes. Oh, bring a change of your Holy Spirit, yes. Father. Oh, Lord, the, the, oh, God, the sweetness, oh, God. Yes. Oh, Lord, where the lamb and the dove have a, have a union, Father. Yes. Oh God, where pride has been dealt with, Father. Yes. Oh Lord, where unbelief, Father, oh God, is Lord is dissolved, Father, yes. in the great love of, of that you have for your bride, Father. Yes. Oh God, Lord, we just ask for your mercy. We ask for your grace. Lord, just be with our brother, Lord, our pastor, Father, his family that's at home, Lord. Just undertake for their needs also. Oh God, Lord, we, we're believing, Father. We're thankful, oh God. Lord, for the great things you do, Father, Amen. and how you love us, oh God, yes. how you give us the words, Amen. Father, to speak, Father. Amen. And, oh God, we know it's nothing to do with us, Lord, Amen. but it's just that connection, Father. Amen. Oh Lord, if there's anyone here that, Lord, by some reason, Father, Lord, by some, by, by some way that, 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 that Satan has got into their lives, Amen. Father, we realise that it attacks the prayer life first, Amen. Lord. Oh God, Father, but, oh Lord, we're coming to you, Father. Yes. Oh God, for a reconnection, Father. Yeah. Oh Lord, for, oh God, Lord, that you can just, Lord, that line, Father. Yeah. Lord, can be energised, Father, yes. that can feel the power of the Almighty God. Yes. Lord, moving through the prayer of faith, Father. Yeah. Delivering, Father, oh God, yeah. and bringing to pass the promises yeah. that you have given to us in this last day, Lord. Help us, we pray. Committing all things into your hands. 
May we go with joy. May we go with spring in our step, Father. Lord, as we've drunk from this great wine, Father. Oh, Lord, oh, God, that we can stand and say boo to the enemy. Oh, Lord, that we might have been on the run from him, oh, God. But this is the time you can turn around and say boo. Oh, Lord, we just thank you tonight, Lord. Oh, God, that Satan, we can take our foot, Lord. And you said, Father, oh, God, the prayer. Oh, God, Lord, of, of, the, of the littlest, the smallest of the believer, Father. Oh, God, even if we're just the skin on the bottom of the feet, Father. Oh, God, that enemy is under us. And we're just so grateful tonight, Lord, as we rejoice in the word that's been ministered to us. How it's built faith. Oh God, how it's given us, oh God, Lord, the, the, oh Lord, the, the confidence, Father. Lord, in what you have done for us, oh God. Lord, that we can go forward, Father. Oh Lord, in victory after victory, Father. Lord, the walls of Jericho in our lives can fall to the ground, Father. Oh Lord, if there's a mountain in our lives, Father, it'll either move, oh God, or you'll give us faith to fly over the top of it, Father. For you are the God of, of our faith, Lord. You are the righteous one, oh God, that has given us the victory. So we just thank you tonight in the, in, and humbly just pray and thank you, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. The Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. God rejoicing. Amen. Let's pray for Sunday's meeting. Amen. God be with you. Amen. Appreciate you all. Amen. And I definitely love you all. Amen. Ask our brother to give us a dismissal song Amen. for you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's just clap our hands and thank the Lord. For us. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to sing, set your wings to the wings of faith. Amen. Amen. That's inspired, brother. I want you to sing that song, but I was embarrassed to ask you. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank the Lord for that. Amen. Amen. Set your wings. There are two roads you may take. One by side, one by flame. Now take. Bye, Greg.
Part, we're just going to sing another song. <laughs> Amen. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Amen. Number 183 supplementary. <clears throat> Until we meet again. Amen. Trust the Lord who keep us. Amen. We'll be in prayer for one another. Hallelujah. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future. you 